While the rapid growth in the last decade has led to better purchasing power for the country's consumers, but despite the improvement, the gaps in China's social welfare system do leave countless others struggling to make ends meet. CCTV's Ning Hong meets a seven-year-old resident and her family who have fallen through the cracks. Only 11 years old, Li Xiaoqian carries a heavy burden. She is the sole caretaker of her parents, a blind father and a mother with mental disease. What can I say? She knew that I couldn't do it, so she undertakes all the hard work. Li's family received 300 yuan of income insurance each month. The poultry income is supplemented by harvest from these 40 walnut trees. Such austerity means that Li counts each penny spent, most of which goes to food. Instant noodles are considered a treat. There are instant noodles at 98 grams that are sold for 1 yuan, and the other kind retails at 2 yuan. I prefer to buy the cheaper ones. Li shoulders a responsibility fit for an adult. As she teaches her mother to read, her role as a child is seemingly reversed with her parents. When I slept by her side once, my mom hugged me with a hand placed on me. I felt so warm and happy. The new school semester has begun, and Li has managed to procure a place at a boarding school without any charge. The family is now faced with a predicament. Should the girl attend school, the parents would be left in the lurch. But the father is insisting that Li's education is more important. I would rather suffer more than have her waste the future by taking care of me. With education as a path out of poverty, the child understands that she carries all of her family's aspirations for a better life and hopes she can become a doctor someday. Poverty in China involves a multitude of different factors. Sickness and low income render individuals at risk, while donations from charity don't solve the root causes. As the country lacks a safety net for welfare, it needs to enact more channels and mechanisms from institutions to assist the families to break out of the cycle. Ning Hong, CCTV, Hebei Province.